Good morning, modern steaders. Man, getting up at 4.30 in the morning sometimes has its perks. It's beautiful out there this morning. Look at all that fog burning off. I like putting hot water in our scalder. It helps it heat up faster. So it's already at 117 degrees and the scalder set for 145. This is one of my least favorite days on the farm. I think the pigs are ready to go out yet this morning, but we'll get the gate open for them so when they do wake up, they can go out and play. Oh, you gotta come out now there, Link. Good morning, sausage. It's funny how different farm animals have different personalities. The pigs, they'd sleep all morning if you let them. The goats, they're up and ready to go. Willow's ready. Good job, Willow. You going to pick some strawberries? All right, here, have fun. Okay, so right now I'm going to pick some strawberries because they're really red. Okay, let's get to it.
strawberries are really red, guys. Not ready yet. I don't like when the seeds are on bunches, so let's look for other ones. Got one. I'm just gonna find a hole. What is that? Oh, I found a grasshopper, guys. I don't know if you can see it. It's jumping really fast. See that little thing popping? Oh. There it is. Can I see it? See it? See? See that little thing? Okay, let's keep picking. <sighs> nice, big, juicy red. Yay! The bugs didn't get to it before we could. That's good. Ugh. Look at this nice, big, juicy red one, guys. I can't wait to try this one. Nope, no bug got to it first. Yes. Any other big strawberries? Let's see, let's get this one. Okay, that is a lot of strawberries. Okay, I got one. Those are delicious. The fun pot, huh, my love? Oh, yeah. It's the best job, isn't it? Yeah. You do a better job cleaning that than I do. That's why I'm doing it. That's why you're doing it? Sounds like thunder in the distance. All right, let's weigh the birds and see what we got for weights. 3.8. Five pounds, Whoa. nice. This one is going to be 3.5. <clears throat> that one's like a five pounder. I would say so too. 4.8, wow, I would have thought it was five. It's gonna be a small three pounder. Three pounds. Four point four. Three point nine. I found a collection of pencils. What's that? That's when I was building them. Don't know from stand. I think Figaro knocked them off. Oh. That'd be my guess. 4.5. Really? 4.55. Really? They're right on it. Okay, here, I'll leave that there. Mr. Figaro. You want some chicken? Four pounder. Last one. Ta -da -da. Three point nine. You keeping an eye on those turkeys, Figaro? Huh? Are you doing good? Ah, 
I bet the chickens want to come out. Been locked up all day. All right guys, so we butchered 34 chickens today. So the average weight of the 10 week old meat birds is 3.8 pounds. And once I found that, I Google searched to see what the average weight of a regular meat bird is. And the top result that came up was from Joel Salatin. It says, Joel Salatin's average meat birds, the carcasses weigh four pounds on a Cornish cross at eight weeks old. So I'm happy with that. These birds are a little bit smaller, but if we would have let them go to 11 weeks, they would have averaged the same as Joel's, I bet you. We had the black Freedom Rangers and the red Freedom Rangers. The one thing we did notice, the red Freedom Rangers were bigger. I don't know if the black ones are just more slow growing or not. The red ones, the fat was more of a yellow. The black ones were more like a grayish tinge. You can see like the color of the feathers almost in the skin and the fat of the meat bird. So for us, next time we raise meat birds, we're gonna do the Freedom Rangers, but we're only gonna be doing the red ones. If you ask me, would I recommend raising Freedom Rangers? The answer is yes, but I'd only go with red. That's the color we're going with. We really liked the birds. They were good. They grew fast. We had some friends helping us today harvest the meat birds. I wanted to thank them for coming over and giving us a hand. It went nice and fast and it just went smooth. If you have any questions on the meat birds we raised or how we harvest them, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video. Bye.